Unfortunately, we live in a world where emergencies happen, where fire and other threats to our safety are a reality, which is bad enough. But imagine if you're disabled, and you're on the second floor of a building where a fire has taken hold and the lifts have stopped working. You need to move quickly, but your wheelchair can't go downstairs. That is the reality facing many people around the world. Employers have a duty of care to provide adequate means of escape for everyone using their premises. Disability discrimination, health and safety requirements and the regulatory reform order enforce this duty of care. And in today's society, which is quick to seek massive damages in a no-win, no-fee world, compliance with legislation is essential. According to the World Fire Statistics Center, sponsored by the UN, over 10% of the population in developed countries would have difficulty negotiating stairs in an emergency. Persons of reduced mobility, the blind, asthmatic, deaf, injured, elderly, infants, pregnant, arthritic, epileptic, and those with angina are just some of the people who might be in distress in an emergency or disaster situation, such as power failures, terrorist attack, false alarms, or disasters such as fire, flood, or earthquake. The strategic placing of evac chairs throughout a building, together with required escape drills, helps organizations provide adequate means of escape for all, including the mobility impaired, and to meet requirements on health and safety and fire regulations, equality in the workplace, and manual handling and preventable injuries. Let's take a look at the evac chair. The frame of the evac chair is constructed from textured blue polyester coated tube with a yellow seat constructed from tough flame retardant material. Wall mounting hooks, dust covers and photoluminescent signage are supplied as standard. A wall housing unit is an optional extra. Evac chair is more than just the world's proven number one emergency stairway evacuation chair. Evac chair is the complete life-saving stairway escape solution for people with reduced mobility. Offering five years warranty against faulty parts and workmanship. There are six simple steps to prepare the evac chair for use. One. While standing behind the evac chair, hold it upright and rest one foot on top of the blue base frame crossbar to steady the chair. Two, using both hands, pull the handle upwards until the shoulder clips have clicked into place. Three, the head restraint should now be slid down the handle. Four, while still standing behind the chair, undo the seat belt to release the skis. 5. Pull these skis towards you to open the seat and push the seat part way downwards into position. 6. Finally, pull up the seat frame against the ski to ensure it is in position. Your evac chair is now ready for action. You must remain in position behind the evac chair using both uprights of the handle to hold it firmly. Place one foot on the front wheel axle or on the bottom bar as your occupant transfers into the evac chair seated position. Depending on the condition of the occupant, further assistance may be required with the transfer. The evac chair comfy seat is an accessory to accommodate people with special difficulties, such as back problems or leg fractures. The seat belt must now be fastened and the head restraint used to assist with airway management if required. From the transfer position, remove your foot from the front wheel axle and tilt the evac chair backwards until the front wheel comes into contact with the ground. The evac chair will now balance between the bottom bar of the frame and the front wheels. From the balance position, tip the chair a further 7 centimeters backwards, that's about 3 inches, and you will be able to move forward in the two-wheel position. This is the position to use for traveling short distances, 
such as when turning and crossing stair landings during descent. For use on level ground over longer distances, the EVAC chair should be used in the four-wheel position, like a wheelchair. To achieve the four-wheel position, start from the vertical upright position. Place one foot on the trolley assembly, just over the yellow sticker, and pull back sharply to unclip the trolley assembly. As you remove your foot, the trolley assembly will automatically open. You may then lower the EVAC chair gently onto its wheels. For stairway descent, close the trolley assembly in an appropriate area of safety by placing the EVAC chair in a vertical upright position with the bottom bar of the frame on the ground. Place your foot on the yellow sticker and push the trolley assembly forward until it clicks back into place. Tilt the chair back into the two-wheel position and move forward to approximately 30 centimeters from the top of the stairs, positioned at the inside edge. With one foot in front of the other and slightly apart, tilt the chair a little further back and push confidently over the top of the stairs. At all times, stay near the inside edge of the stairs and make certain the skis make contact with the top two stair nosings. Never let go of the EVAC chair. Pause briefly and reposition your hands by sliding them upwards from the vertical position at each side of the handle onto the handle's horizontal top crossbar. When descending, press downwards in a vertical direction for a smooth, safe ride and move forwards at the same smooth pace as the EVAC chair. There should be no bumping action. The smooth operation of EVAC chair is due to the interface of specially modified V-belts, which continuously work to slow down descent over stair nosings in proportion to the weight of the passenger. No heavy lifting is necessary, so no one is left behind when a building is evacuated. When reaching or crossing a landing, never let go of the EVAC chair and do not allow the chair to run out. You cross the landing in the two-wheel mode, so when the wheels touch the landing floor and with the skis still on stairs, slide your hands round to each side of the handle back into the vertical positions to prepare for this maneuver. Keep the EVAC chair near to the inside edge of the stairs at all times throughout the descent and cross the landing in the two-wheel mode before descending the remaining stairs in the same way as before. On reaching the ground level, proceed a few paces from the stairs in the two-wheel mode before deploying the trolley assembly. You're then ready to move along level ground in the four-wheel mode to the designated assembly point. There are two EVAC chair model options. The Mark III model and the EVAC chair 600H model with extra carrying handles. EVAC chair is a life-saving investment and answers everyone's concerns about emergency stairway evacuation in case of fire or other hazards. It protects against lawsuits and saves personnel from unnecessary injury. Having EVAC chairs strategically placed around a building is all about peace of mind. In schools, colleges, factories, hospitals, sports stadia, shops and offices, cinemas, libraries, banks, care homes, museums and galleries, wherever people have access, you can depend on EVAC chair. EVAC chair, more than just the world's proven number one emergency stairway evacuation chair.